basically operators can deduct the promo spending they're doing uh, from their overall revenue so they get to make more money basically now of course they're spending on that uh, uh, <laughs> revenue for the promos but that's okay so in virginia uh through 2.1 billion wagers at the 15 percent tax rate they should have paid 69.7 million but with all the promo deductions the 14 operators uh took over the last uh year since they launched in, in january 2021 well, i guess a year and a half They've only paid $33.7 million in taxes. And so that's not earth shattering, budget shifting uh, money for the state probably. It's still probably quite a bit of money for these operators. And uh, so you're gonna see that that kind of probably have some ripple effects. Who knows uh, what other states are gonna do this. But once they start doing it, you have to assume the operators are gonna maybe pull back a little. And this might be a bigger, uh, sports betting in America 2.0 phase thing of, of sports books have to figure out how else to attract customers and retain customers than shelling out, you know, $5 free bets or $20 deposit bonuses or, or whatever you, you may get. Um, and then just leading in, into further other promo, uh, things, Louisiana has a $5 million operator, uh, cap that, uh, you know, they have 40 open slots for sports books and they've only got seven. And I have to imagine that that uh, cap has a little something to do with that because sports books know they, they can't just go in and shell out to acquire customers and, and make more money. Yeah, no, for sure. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, I always find those interesting to see which states follow a state like Virginia and, uh, you know, could follow along on the same deal there. All right. Well, uh, Pat, thank you again for coming on the show. Really